So productivity is a very important concept. But it's a bit difficult for people to grasp the meaning of productivity. It's complex and it's difficult to measure. But to simplify, productivity means efficiency. Efficiency of the production process in producing output from a given input. Or to put it simply, productivity equal output divided by total resources used. So for example, uh, making popia skin. Now if you can make, say, 50 popia skin in, in one hour, well, your labor productivity for, for, for one person is 50 uh, popia skin. It can be measured in quantitative terms, 50 popia skin, or it can be measured in value. You know, 50 times $2 per skin you know, equal, equal to $100. So that is your absolute productivity. Then let's say that after one year, as a new uh, popia skin maker, well, next year you can increase your output to 200 skins per hour. So your productivity has, has increased, has doubled from 50 to 100. So you can measure the increase. So 100 over the same person's productivity per hour is, is 100 skin against 50 skin. Your productivity is 100%. That's a simple concept of labor productivity. But you can increase the productivity through other factors, like a, a better use of energy, say a stove, or you can mechanize, you can automate, and you can have uh, much higher productivity. So again, using the Popia skin uh, example, if you automate, like one of the companies in Singapore, TEGR, you produce uh, Popia skin through automation. In one hour, you possibly can produce 1,000 pieces of Popia skin, maybe even more. I have no idea how much <laughs> you can produce in one hour. Let's say it's 1,000. Well, that's the meaning of productivity. But you cannot relate that to just labor alone because you are now using capital using organizational process, using energy, you know, power and so on to produce. But again, you can divide the output by your total resources used. And that gives you the productivity. Uh, the question now is, how do we increase our productivity from here? You produce a thousand per skin through machine this year. Next year, can you do better? So on an individual basis, in so far as labor is concerned, we can understand it better. It doesn't mean working harder. It doesn't mean working longer hours. In fact, to produce the same output, if by working longer hours, you are becoming less productive. You've got to work fewer hours to produce the same output. Now, I'll give you another example. That's uh, typing. Let's say you have to transcribe a handwritten message into uh, something typed. Well, if you are not very experienced, you use one finger. You know, one page may take you 20 minutes. After a while, you may begin to use two fingers. It still will take you a long time, maybe 17 minutes. But your productivity is improving. But if you have been practicing typing with all 10 fingers, one page you can possibly do it in uh, half a minute. So your productivity has increased, same person. Now, how do you increase your productivity further? Through uh, machines. That's where the computer comes in. Microsoft Word. You type, you make a mistake, you correct it. And then you can send to you know, 10 people or more by pressing just one key. In the old days, when you have the mechanical typewriter, you bang away at the uh, you know, typing keys, you make a mistake, you have to type all over again because it's a very important document where you can't use uh, this white ink to blanco it, as I call it, and then type over. So your productivity can be increased through introducing software computers. So you've got to grasp this concept of productivity. It's not just one person. The whole organization must understand this. It's got to introduce processes, machines, capital, into this. And quality of materials is also part of the input 
for productivity increase. If you use, uh, you know, popian skin example, the oil is not very good. The popian will be very sticky on the pan, and then you got to throw away a few. Good oil gives you a better popian skin. So materials comes in. See, so if you grasp this, then you can begin to understand how we can try to improve productivity in order to be competitive, in order to raise our income. So when I recommend that uh, the budget has got nothing for me as a person, other than you know, a few of the uh, allowances and so on, they are wrong. This budget is about you. It's about how we can increase the productivity of the economy as a whole. You as a worker, the company as a production uh, institution, the management as the people in charge. If we can transform the economy through the measures in this budget, the income which you have today can continue to increase 2-3% per year over the next 10 years. So this is where the budget helps you directly, although you don't see it. So it's unexciting because you have not grasped the concept of productivity and, and its importance. But once you grasp this, we all work towards it, we should be able to sustain our income and better still imp improve on our income. And this is very important in, in terms of competitiveness. We don't move into the next stage of our development through uh, better workers, skilled workers, higher productivity. China, India, and Vietnam are going to pose real challenges for us. What we have here may also be lost to them if you are uncompetitive. And then the factories go away, the jobs go away, the banks go away, well, then we are going to see the economy going down and our income will go down. So it's a very important uh, goal to achieve. The concept in the budget may apply more to companies. And therefore you think, well, this is for companies, you know, for SMEs, for the big boys, nothing for me. But that is the wrong approach. You are very much part of this whole economy. In fact, the workers are the most important part of all this. Because without the workers, without the people, the uh, companies can't do anything. So this is where the continuing education is very important. Where you are putting more money into, uh, into uh, the post-secondary uh, education account. Where we are going to put more into the uh, training institutions. Because in the end, it's, it's a skill. So to use the typing as an example. If you can't type just two fingers, we'll teach you on how to type with uh, ten fingers. But having taught you doesn't mean you can type fast. You've got to practice. In the next clip, an Indian restaurant owner reveals how his cook from India is affected by Singapore's employment laws. 